Well, I got down to negative uh, 15 last night here, and uh, we kept the chickens in the coop with no supplemental heat and uh, just bedding, and uh, wanted to let you know how they did. So let's go on out. We're going to take a look. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeremy. Welcome to Fleetwood Patch. Well, we did have uh, the big chill head our way as most of the country recently did. We had quite an Arctic low hit us and even for Colorado, we had some of the coldest temperatures I've seen in many, many years out here. Um, to give you an idea, it actually got down to negative 15 last night. Um, the biggest concern that we had was for the chickens. Now, people that have had chickens for a long time, this isn't a big surprise for them, but uh, us being new chicken owners, our girls aren't even a year old yet, we were concerned about how they were going to do in these cold temperatures. Uh, was I gonna walk out and see no movement in that coop? Um, that was my biggest fear. Um, I thought about, you know, should I set up a little tent? Should I put them in the garage just so they can survive? And I went on a lot of sites and people were pretty much, um, people that have had them for a long time, were pretty much saying the same thing, you know? These girls are built for this. Um, they're good at regulating their body temperature. Make sure they have plenty of bedding, that it's dry, that you have plenty of ventilation, and they'll get through this. And I decided to take their advice on that. I think um, these people know a lot more about it than I do. They've had a lot more experience than I have. So that's exactly what we did. Um, we kept them out in negative 15 degree weather last night. So um, let's go out and check and uh, kind of want to show you how they did. And the weather's saying it is negative 10 degrees outside. Well, one of the things that's been going around the internet, uh, especially for chicken keepers, is do you bring your chickens inside when it gets that cold? Um, it got down to negative 15 here last night, negative 15. And to kind of give you an idea how the girls handled that, I kind of wanted to show you what I came out to this morning. They're thriving. I mean, they're even laying eggs still, believe it or not. You can see them kind of going, hey, what's up? But they're doing pretty good. Um, big thing that I did was I covered the run and gave them that shelter. And they did well. I think they did very well. Um, for the most part, they wanted to stay in the coop, but as you can see, I did put food out there for them. I have an electric waterer, um, water heater, I should say. And uh, yeah, the water did not freeze. Negative 15 degrees and it did not freeze. And I think those things work pretty well. So if you wonder a lot about should I bring my chickens in? It's too cold for them. These girls are some pretty hardy chickens. Um, make sure that you get a breed that's good for your area that is cold hardy. If you do get temperatures around this low. Um, but guys, you got to kind of think of it like um, the wild birds that you see out in this stuff. I mean, you can hear birds in the background. They made it through it. Why can't the chickens? I do not recommend putting a heater in your coop. Um, deep bed it. Make sure it's nice and dry. Don't put a heater in there just because I think it's a fire hazard. Um, and the last thing you want to do is come out to uh, a pretty, pretty bad scene um, from a fire sparking with those girls trapped inside. 
they are built for this guys that's what they're that's how they're made up they can take this cold we can't take this cold but they can we got to stop looking at chickens and trying to treat them like humans if you bring them inside because you think it's too cold and then you put them back outside when it's already cold they're going to have a much harder time adapting to this weather and i think it's going to do more harm than good um just keep them cooped up uh, make sure they have plenty of dry bedding, you know, keep ventilation going. Believe it or not, you want that ventilation because what happens is, is once they start dropping their manure, um, that's 85% water. And what it's going to do is it's going to, um, it's going to create humidity in the coop. And that's what's going to be detrimental to your girls. That's what's going to give them the frostbite. So make sure you give them plenty of bedding that's going to keep them nice and dry. You out in this weather? You don't mind it that much, do you? And you're our lightest chicken. You're the one I worried about the most, and you're still laying eggs. It's pretty amazing. Just try not to get too seasonally depressed uh, with all this ice and snow going on. Guys, it is winter after all, but I guarantee you spring is just around the corner. It may be hard to tell from everything that's going on around you but believe me better days are coming warmer days are coming and uh, you're going to start to see some green in your yard or on your homestead before you know it So I am just overjoyed and very thrilled that the girls made it through such really harsh conditions. Um, if you have any question about whether or not these girls can survive cold temps, they do very, very, very well in it. Now I will say there are some breeds that are not meant for as cold conditions and that's why we planned ahead when we got these girls way back in, uh, in May. Um, we wanted to make sure that they were a hardy breed, uh, meaning that they could take those cold temperatures because we knew it gets cold here and it definitely snows and, you know, you're going to get at least about a week's worth of sub-zero temperatures during the year. Again, this is probably the coldest I've seen it get in probably close to 20 years here. So, I mean, negative 15, that's a big deal. And they made it they did great so uh, moving forward um, this definitely proved to me that uh, it's not animal cruelty guys they can take it they can do this so very happy for them uh, that they survived through it and uh, I'm hoping fingers crossed that this is uh, the coldest weather we get of the year and hopefully it's nothing but on its way up at this point um, Again, guys, we're getting six new chicks at the end of March, early April. We're excited for that. Um, I'm just amazed what these animals can do. Um, really one of the best decisions that we've made. So they could take it, guys. They're good in the cold. Until next time, this is Jeremy of Fleetwood Patch saying, you got this. They got this.